This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob, and today we are looking at my top sports games. Now I know what you're thinking, Blood Bowl will be there. No, it can't be there because it is fantasy football. A football game could be there because you can play football anywhere in a sandlot football or anything like that. Car racing will not be there. You're not going to jump in a NASCAR car and be able to drive in Daytona, you know, the Daytona 500. It's impossible. Or even on Daytona's track. So we have to disqualify that. This is normal sports that anybody can play. Even highlight. Uh, highlight, uh, you know, you could put a SESTA on and go to an amateur place and play, so that qualifies. So, we're going to talk about sports that you can actually play that games have been made about and are really fantastic, whether you get out with a bunch of friends or whatever. Um, I'm a big, big sports fan, so um, you know, when they come out with a really good sports game, it's very exciting for me, and I'm always willing to try it out. So, Let's go down and check out and see what my top sports games are. So there are a couple that I just physically can't show you because, number one, they're too big. And one, one of my favorites is Subudio. Um, it is, I, I know I butchered the name, but whatever. It is a game that is very historic, has been around for over 50 years. It is a soccer game where you are actually uh, flicking the players to hit the ball. It is unique, it is fantastic, um, and it is probably one of the most competitive games that you'll ever see. Uh, over in England, it is a huge, huge game with the tournaments that they have, and it's probably uh, just, it, 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 it's, it's almost as fun as to create the stadium as it is to uh, actually play the game because the you know collecting your favorite squad uh, and then getting other squads and uh, you know different teams and trying to uh, um, you know create tournaments and stuff like that. It's just so much fun and it is a skill that I've seen people do things that I just went my god how do you do that and it was just so enjoyable to watch um i'm not very good at it but i have such a passion for it and absolutely love it another game that i can't show you physically uh because i don't have the box here is actually from play.com uh play.com has a lot of great sports games uh some of them kind of take you uh, it's almost like you don't have control of the, of the game. The game controls you. But uh, there are a couple that I think are just absolutely fantastic and have a great feel to them. And one of them is bowling. Uh, you take a D20 and you are going to flick it down an alleyway. Uh, and as it goes down the alleyway, if it goes off, it's going to uh, uh, you're going to look on a certain chart. Um, if it goes and lands in a certain area, you're going to look at a certain chart. And it depends on your player's rating and how it works out. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's fun, it's easy to learn, but impossible to master. Another game from Play.com that I absolutely love, and we were just talking about this a little bit earlier, is Highlight. Uh, I love highlight. I played highlight up in Connecticut, um, and I'm left-handed, so I had to learn how to throw uh, with with my right hand. And we used to wait out back of the old highlight and buy the old cestus from the players. And right around the corner in Milford, there was an amateur highlight, and we would go there Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and pay ten bucks and get to play for a couple hours. Uh, and it for us it was just so much fun uh, I learned so much heck we used to go uh, because we were near, near New Haven and we would go in between a whole bunch of buildings and we would play especially if there were three buildings that were connected and there was an alleyway uh, and we would just have so much fun 
and that's how we would spend our summers most of the time. Betting on high lie at night, playing all all afternoon uh, on a summer's day. But this game here is just, it, it really feels like it. It's a lot of dice rolling, but it is a great sports game and a lot of fun to play solo, believe it or not. Um, one of the best golf games out there is a game from my friend John Garcia. Uh, I love this game. This is one of my favorite sports games of all time. And there is just no way that I could do a list like this without including the fantastic uh, Table Golf Association. This is just another one of those games that you can just absolutely take to a bar, set it up, and you know, while you're sitting, hanging with some friends, have a friendly tournament, um, have a few drinks, just don't spill any on, on any of the nice wooden pieces, and uh, you know, just really have an enjoyable time. Uh, it was so much fun, it's so much fun that we actually played uh, at a convention. It was at the Dice Tower, I actually played John, and unfortunately uh, for him, he lost. Uh, he still needs to send me that, that trophy. But, but um, just so we can hang it here. Or I gotta make one. But, but uh, uh, I, one of these days I've gotta get back and I've gotta play him again. Uh, John is a tremendous, tremendous designer with a lot of different ideas. And they've added so many expansions to it and there's so many variances to it. I play this with my grandchild all the time. Uh, she doesn't really have a concept of golf, but it becomes like a mini golf type of thing for, her. hey John, you know something, that's a great idea. How about a mini golf course? Jeez, I'm gonna I'm gonna write him and tell him about that. I just thought about that, and uh, but but there's just so much fun to this. There's so many things to this. This is everything that you can want in having fun. It's quick. It's easy to assemble. It, it plays like golf. It feels like golf. It's a great golf game, and I absolutely love it. Another game. Well, this is a sport, and we used to beat the heck out of each other in the backyard. There's backyard wrestling. But I, it's kind of hard not to include this masterpiece, and that's Face to the Mat, the pro wrestling game. Uh, I'm a big wrestling fan. I used to, we used to ha have wrestling in the back. Yes, I know, it is it is what it is, even though it's real to me. But, but uh, this, there are very few things that tell a story as well as as face to the mat and it is just one of those sports games that is just absolutely so much fun and such a blast to play i absolutely love this game and is one of my favorite games of all time another game that i just didn't want to bring down is if you ever want to be a manager of a soccer team well there is just only one game in my mind and that's 11 from the great portal games. Ignacy is one of the smartest guys that you'll ever meet. And he has so many different um, expansions to this. Uh, there are, you know, European clubs, there's super cups, and all these things. And it's really amazing as you manage this team, manage your players, and then get and do an entire week. You start with training, physio, buying and selling players. Uh, uh, at it, build, you know, building a proper environment, getting proper sponsors so you can get more money in, and then going and playing the game, setting up your offenses and your defenses, and um, trying to win, putting people in the right position, and then everything going wrong. Uh, <laughs> 11 is one of my favorite soccer games of all time, uh, English football as I call it. Um, but it really has the feel of a manager and it does a great job now if you really like the tactics of uh, football meaning english football um there is one game that i absolutely love and that is none other than counterattack. this is unbelievable it feels like it. You're moving pieces around. You're doing certain things. 
you, you are, you know, long passes, you're trying to move the ball down and get a good shot, um, and trying to prevent from losing the ball and having them counterattack you and, 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 and really just throw a beat in on you. It, 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 it just, this one thing I really like to see is I like to see more of the English clubs, um, the pieces, the, 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 everything about it is just fantastic. And that's how it looks. You know, you're going to be moving these pieces around. It, it has a solo variant uh, situations that you can run into and really does a fantastic job. As far as baseball games, there is really only one that really stands out, and that's from Mike Fitzgerald. Baseball highlights 20, I think it's 45 or something like that. Um, it is a great quick game. It is a game that it's one of the few games that I actually played at a convention. And I sat down and uh, actually played in a tournament. It was thanks to Berkey and Mike actually asked me to play. I didn't even know he knew I existed. Uh, and he was just so nice and I had so much fun. I almost won the tournament. It came down to one last card and I picked the wrong card. If I picked the other one, I would have won the tournament. But hey, what are you going to do? But um, they also have a dice game version of it. And this is just as fun. And just just really nice if you want to do something by yourself. Or you can play it with up to uh, four players. And it, it really works. I mean, Mike has a way of doing that. He also did a football version. I played it a few times. Uh, it didn't stick as much as the, the baseball, but it is a very great game. But if we're going to talk about football, and I'm talking American football, I think there's only one game out there right now. And you can go to the website or you can look this up online, and I highly suggest this. Um, I did a review on it a few weeks ago. I actually did a live playthrough. Uh, one I messed up, and then we did one to redeem it, and that is Fozzie Football. Uh, this is fantastic. You are going to be shuffleboarding more or less, but there is some strategy to it. There is an app that is absolutely fantastic and it runs the game basically. As you shuffle, you are going to be you are going to be adding what you get into that app. And the music and how it's done is just absolutely unbelievable. And I'm going to try to show you a little bit. You're going to, you could do it on your phone. You could do it on a tablet. Um, you're going to have a game clock. Let me just get there. And as you shuffle and you get certain yardage. If it's outside for a gain of 10, first down. Okay, so you'll have those type of things. Or bad things will happen. Certainly. And trying to get a hanger is not as easy as everybody thinks to get a touchdown, but this really feels like football. If you want to grind the clock out, you can kind of, if you're good enough, you can dink it for four yards, run for four yards, run for two yards, let the play clock go a little bit. Uh, especially if you're playing a really skilled appointment, opponent that is going to score quickly you are going to want to try to grind the clock to keep the game close and you know n try not to make mistakes well guess what they happen happen in this game and it's real football okay you have to execute you have to do everything that you can and really put it into motion and do well <sighs> to finish up um, you know this i left off the stratomatic games i think with them I think they're a little bit outdated but they're a lot of fun uh, if you want to play with someone I think I, I keep waiting for something better especially with Stratomatic uh, baseball um, there is a golf game I, I believe it's a APA uh, golf which is very very good I really like what that does but it's very intricate and when I can play something that is as fun and give me that golf field as the table golf association it's really kind of hard to kind of associate uh, you know to go to that you know sometimes you want strategic uh, overly strategic stuff where you're number crunching a lot 
uh, with, with Table Golf Association, you don't have to do that. And that's why I kind of go the other way. Like I said, I le left all the racing games. But if I was to put the ra racing games on there, it'd be Heat and Thunder Alley. Uh, you know, you would have to put those on. Um, but these are my favorites. These are my go-tos. And some of them are, a lot of them are dexterity. And I really enjoy that bit of it. I really think it, it, it has, it adds to the fun uh, in a group setting. Um, this game here, Fozzie Football especially, you know, you bring that to a bar and have it, you know, on, on a Sunday uh, during fantasy football, you know, you're, everybody's having a great time. Okay, and, or you just on a Friday after Friday night before college football weekend, you know, hey, let's ha let's run a league, let's run a tournament. A lot of these games, that's what they do, and uh, that's what makes some of the fun is the interaction with your friends and how you play these games. These are my favorites. I would love to hear what you consider your favorites, and uh, just leave it in the comments. And until next time. It's your old power off. We'll see you soon, everybody.